guys and welcome back to today's video so i'm literally so late filming this video this was supposed to be up mid november i'm not gonna lie it's actually the 25th of november today so i'm filming this probably the day it's gonna go up hopefully if i can get it edited in time the dogs are in the background so you can tell they're gonna be naughty where he's trying to get comfy to lie down and ollie always tells him off so Good boy, he's sat down now, so hopefully they're going to be good for the whole video, but let's see. I'm going to try and make it quite quick, because I don't think Esme's going to want to sit through the whole video. She's just had a nap, but she's just woke up, so she's literally mesmerised by looking out the window, because we don't normally open the curtains in here, because she naps in here, so we keep it quite dark. So yeah, I think she's mesmerised looking out the window, and obviously at the camera as well. <laughs> and she loves the dogs too, don't you? So should we get into the video? She's looking a bit messy, she had a risk this morning, so I've tried to wipe her face as best I can, but... She's still looking a bit messy, aren't you? <laughs> but let's get on with today's video. So this is going to be Esme's five month update, if I didn't already say. Um, she turns six months on the 16th of November, so she is already like six and a half months kind of. But I'm just going to talk about the things that she did during the five month period in this video. And then probably pretty soon I'll record the six month video just because I don't want to miss any updates out if anybody is following our journey so far so as i've mentioned in my pre previous videos esme has got pierre robin sequence and a cleft palette so she was born with both and obviously she hasn't had a palette repair that will be done around one years old so because of her combination of the cleft palette and pierre robin sequence she has got an ng tube which is a nasogastric feeding tube so she can take things orally i've done a few weaning videos if you're interested in watching them but she does take majority well i'd probably say like 99 percent of her milk is via tube so we are trying to increase her fluid intake by mouth but she's not not too impressed sometimes um so I'm just going to touch on the things that she's been doing during the five-month period. Obviously, nor baby development as well as like tube feeding and stuff like that as well. So in terms of things that Esme's been doing during the five-month period, I would say she's really started to belly laugh. So she, I probably mentioned it in other videos about the previous update, she did laugh. But during the five-month period, I'd say she's like started proper laughing. If I like pretend to eat her belly, she tries, like she does laugh and it's really cute. Um... What else did you do during five months? I'd say she became really interested in toys. So she's like, she wasn't quite sitting up, but during the five month period, I'd say that she was sitting up with somebody just behind her or cushions behind her or being held onto. She was very wobbly, of course, but she enjoyed sitting up and she, like playing with the toys. So it was putting like toys in front of her and she was reaching out and grabbing them and she loves the lights. And um, my grandma's got like this little dinosaur that sings the ABCs and it's, you probably got one if you've got a kid it's like purple with i think different colored like abc letters and you just press letters and it sings different songs or it sings the alphabet and it's got like a little it's like a dinosaur horn or something on its head and it um lights and flashes different colors and esme absolutely loves it so she loves any colors don't you know what else do you love what else did you love I'd say in terms of teeth, in the five month period she had no teeth at all. I'd say she was probably teething or starting to because she was so dribbly. Like we literally changed her bibs every couple of well, every hour or so. There was so much dribble. Some days it's worse than others as well. So some days there's a lot more dribble than others. But yeah, <laughs> a lot of dribble. So I would say that she she's still in three to six months clothes and during the five month period obviously she was still in them them sizes. She's starting to get quite long so her sleep suits in three to six are getting a bit short a lot of them still fit and if you saw my clothes organization video that was during the five month period i presume but i sorted for esme sleep suits and just measured kind of the ones and found the ones that were the longest because some of them still fit there was just some of them were a bit shorter than others i guess shorter than the average three to six and they were getting quite short on her and obviously i want her to be able to keep her legs straight and stuff like that and don't want her being cooped up really tight so at the end of, I don't even know when it was, if it was like start of October, end of September time, we did a sleep study at Birmingham Children's Hospital. I don't know if I spoke about this in previous videos, but basically the sleep study was to test out Esme's breathing because we had a few at home sleep studies and the worry was that during the night Esme's breathing was getting really noisy and it was like, did she just burp? <laughs> Her breathing was dipping, so the worry was like what was the impact of that long term so we did this sleep study at Birmingham Children's Hospital I'll insert a little picture of it now if I've got some <laughs> what are you telling them what 
he did. It was a very nice visit, isn't it? So I had to stay overnight in hospital with her for one night, and we got there at like 8 p.m. and we left at like five, half five, six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so because of covid they were literally kicking people out really early because obviously they had to really clean and sanitize the rooms when i had the call about seat study i was told that i would be on like a ward <laughs> but i i literally wasn't i had my own room which was really nice esme had like a big cot in there i had like a little bed type thing and we had our own sink and then i had to wear my mask all the time obviously apart from when i was asleep and stuff so every time are you gonna let mommy speak <laughs> so every time I had to go to the toilet or something. I had to buzz the little buzzer and the nurse had to come in and let me out. But that was kind of good because it meant that the nurse would come in and watch Esme while I went. Not that at home, like, if I need the toilet or whatever, like, I'm not watching her, I'll go to the toilet. But I guess there because she could pull out the wires and stuff and it would affect the suits today. So she had wires, like, under her nose testing the breathing. She had some around her belly which tested where she, whether she was breathing from her, her chest or her stomach. She had ones that detected whether she rolled over in her sleep and yeah stuff like that she had one that detected like the noise of her breathing as well there was one on her i think on her arm or something that detected like the i don't know if it's like the oxygen in her blood or something and then she had one on her foot and stuff as well so there was loads of other worries she really didn't like it she did she did not sleep too well that day but obviously that's understandable but they did say that the results they got were substantial so the, the what they got was good quality and they were able to read it so we're still waiting for the results now it's literally been like maybe seven or eight weeks maybe more i don't really know they said it could take up to six weeks but we still haven't had the official results the past nurse did contact us and say the results were better than last time and that we're more than likely going to be seeing in respiratory outpatients but we haven't heard anything so i presume that she doesn't need that cpap machine which is really positive but again like i said we haven't got <coughs> we haven't got the official results so we're still waiting on that um so I don't know if I said already, but if you can't already tell, Esme has literally found her voice. So she's literally shouting and screaming oh. and laughing and playing all day long, aren't you, Esme? There's no peace and quiet in this house now. Literally, you're doing something and she's like, ah, <laughs> aren't you? You're so chatty and it's so nice. So obviously she started smiling around. Oh, I don't even know when it was now. It would be in one of my previous updates, probably like two or three months old. But she literally smiles so much now. She's not just like... It's not hard to get a smile. You literally just have to look at her and she smiles. Um, what else do you do, my love? So with weaning, because obviously we started weaning early. We've been weaning since 17 weeks. And I don't even know how many weeks old she was at five months. I can't remember. Um, but we were weaning for obviously like a month when we hit five months. So now we've been weaning for like two and a half months or something. Yeah. <laughs> But the weaning was going really well. So in the first month, purees were just a no-go. Like, she just hated them. And obviously, she couldn't really have solids because she was too young. But, yeah, she didn't like the feel of the purees when she sneezes because of her cleft palate. It comes out of her nose. And then she panics and, like, flaps her arms and kind of makes a choking noise. Like, not like a noise, but, like, she's silent and she's, like, choking. So it's really scary. Um, I've kind of learned to better manage that now. So when she's choking, I, I give her, like, a bit of water or... I just just stay calm and tell her like it's okay like you're gonna be all right and stuff like that and she's she gets through it she's okay it does scare her but she's now getting a lot better than what she was at eating so I'd say within the five month period she absolutely loved finger food so she loved well I wasn't giving her too many because obviously she wasn't six months but I started on like really overcooked carrots and stuff that were really soft and she enjoyed them <laughs> where are you going love um what else did you have you had like sweet potato, she had cucumber, she had the crisp puffs, rusks. I'd say with the first month or so, she wasn't really interested in rusks, but she's got so much better now. She's literally had one today and she literally eats pretty much the whole thing now. When it gets really small, she finds it hard to hold because obviously it gets really slippy and like, I don't know, like, what's it get like, like mushy? <laughs> um. So yeah, she finds it hard to hold when it gets like that. But literally, she can pretty much eat the whole thing. As again with the little crisp puffs, they're like what's it type things, but baby crisp. When it gets down to the last little bit, she finds it hard to hold. Oh. Don't you? So her tube hasn't came out for probably about two months now. So obviously, I don't think it's 
like that's because she's like six and a half months now but i'd say it probably last came out during the four month mark yeah probably about the four month mark so i think it was around the time we went into hospital for the sleep study it hasn't came out since then so she's done really well it's today the tape if you can see the tape's a bit messy it's coming away it's not the best but we're going to be replacing that tonight because it's, it's still a job she absolutely hates she hates having the tape redone because it's not nice for her it's obviously pulling off her skin so she's always loved to stand as well so recently she's been standing a lot more haven't you Esme? she's starting to get really excited when she sees people like family members and stuff she absolutely loves them she she gets like really happy when she sees my mum like my mum sings oh careful my mum sings to her and she absolutely loves it she's started to we started to go to our first baby group so we started going when she was probably like five and a half months old and it's like a little stay and play one and the first week was probably quite tricky because obviously she couldn't sit up so i think towards the very end of the five month mark that's when she went to sit up a bit better but she was still quite wobbly and obviously i was holding on to her but she was sat on the floor playing and she really liked it they had like this sensory fish thing if you saw one of my weekend vlogs it was in that it was the first I think maybe it's called baby grief or something but it was the first that was the first session we went to and it had like this sensory thing with fishes and stuff Esme absolutely loved it she spent most of the time staring at it to be honest she loved it and we've made like a friend that goes to the baby group as well and her little boy like Esme loves him as well like they chat to each other in baby language <laughs> um and he was trying to bite her feet and stuff like eat them it was just so funny and she was just looking at me like help me mom <laughs> but it's really nice for her to have somebody her own age that we meet up with regularly so we go on walks and we meet up with him at least once a week so it's really nice you've got hair on you so what else is me What else, my love? You can see actually these trousers are not to six months and they're getting a bit short. So she's got little anchor washers on today, but they do like they roll up because she's she's got quite chubby legs. I think the last time she was weighed it would have been five months and she weighed how much did you weigh as me? Was it fourteen fifteen or fifteen fourteen? Something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But she's due to be weighed again tomorrow. So obviously six and a half months she gets weighed every four weeks. So that would be nice. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no. We're going to have to call the nurse up because she's just pulled the tube out. So I might finish this video later. Or it might just go live with just that. But that's going to be everything for today's video. Sorry guys. <laughs> so I might... I might add this on to the end of the video of her five month update just because obviously she did pull out the tube and I didn't get to finish the video. But Esme is currently just in this little bumbo seat. She's playing. She's got a very messy face. This is probably the first time you guys have seen her without a tube. So I tried to give her a bottle. She has these Dr. Brown's bottles. She's literally taken none of it. Probably like, well, yeah, literally none. Two meals, maybe that, maybe nothing. The door just went. <laughs> Were you going to sneeze? The door just went, so I haven't... I just had to cut the clip, clip short. But basically, she refused to take any bottle, so I've given her probably, like, a quarter of the pouch, maybe. Maybe a third. I'm not too sure. She's had some of this anyway. She's quite like this, and then she's had some apple crumble. It is. It's apple and cinnamon crumble. So she's probably had this over the last couple of days. It can obviously stay, out the, stay in the fridge for a couple of days. So she had probably half of it yesterday, and she's just probably had, like, a... A quarter of it today or something a quarter of but maybe about half of what was left she's had um yeah she's very messy so i'm just waiting for the nurse to come now it's our nurse is off on a wednesday which is typical it always seems that esme pulls a tube out when our nurse is off i don't even think we've seen our named community nurse since esme was like two months old maybe three months old literally not for so long and obviously she's six months old, six and a half months old now so she hasn't pulled her tube out for two months so the nurse is going to come but she can't come till like two o'clock and the time is now quarter to, well 20 to one and esme literally pulled it out um maybe like half, just just before half 11 so we literally rang them so long ago 
and we're still waiting for the nurse to come and they can't come until at least two now so obviously Esme was due a feed at half eleven so she's missed that and she's refused to take any bottles so her next feed would be half two so hopefully she'll have that one so the time is now half two Esme's just had her NG tube put in the nurse has finally came out and basically I did it again so I have to be watched three times putting in the tube before I'm officially allowed to be signed off to do it myself so today was the second time that I've put the tube <laughs> what? what is that? Today was the second time that I put the tube in by myself with them watching. So Esme was literally screaming before they came. I gave her two different types of bottles like you saw and she didn't want any of them. So then I gave her some puree which I think I showed you as well and she ate that fine. She's finally now just set up to have a feed. I've set it up for five extra meals so she's having 150 meals of milk which is more than normal but I thought she'd be really hungry because this is technically her next feed so she missed the last one completely bless her um yeah so she's probably really hungry <coughs> so she's just having this and watching some tv and then we're gonna go maybe for a walk or something i need to go to the post office but that's probably gonna be it today's video like i said i did want to edit it and try and upload it today because obviously it is really late because she's six and a half months now and this is the five month update it's a really failed update because says my pulled a tube out during the recording which you saw so yeah it didn't go to plan it's not a very good update i really hope that you come back to see the next update which is going to be the six month one which will be uploaded fairly soon when i film it just because she is six and a half months so i want to get back on track if you watched all my other baby updates, then I want to thank you so much for watching and following our journey. Esme has got Pierre Robin sequence and a cleft palette, so it's not just like a standard baby milestone video. But I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys!